about to buy some hearing aids? If any of these three things apply to you, wait, you're gonna wanna hear this. Hey guys, Jeff here at Zip Hearing. You know, I talk to thousands of people each year who are buying hearing aids. Uh, a lot of these people tell me what they've been quoted for hearing aids, and I found that a lot of the times when people are quoted uh, super high prices, there's some commonalities between their situations. So if you can relate to any of these three things, you're probably about to overpay for hearing aids. So definitely uh, get another opinion before you buy. Now the first sign that you're overpaying is if you don't know the model you're buying because the hearing provider didn't tell you. I see this happen a lot where hearing providers will um, sort of be like coy about which exact model they're recommending you or kind of vague about it because they know if you have that information, you can shop for better prices very easily. So make sure you know what you're buying. The second sign you're overpaying is if the model you're buying is not one of these brands. Now let me explain this more. I'm not saying that every other brand is overpriced, but the reason I say this is if you're not buying one of these brands, there's a really good chance that what you are buying is what's called a private labeled hearing aid. Now a private labeled hearing aid is just a hearing aid from one of these brands with a different logo stamped on it and a different name given to it. So a company may take a, a Phonak hearing aid and call it a Royal hearing aid or whatever, which is just a made up name and that makes it harder for you to find out what you're actually buying in comparison shop for it, uh, like what I just mentioned. So again, if you're not buying one of these brand names, take some time and find out what you are actually buying and what a fair price for it is. The third sign you're overpaying is if you're buying from a national or regional chain of offices. These types of offices often, not always, but often have a, a very sales-oriented approach to hearing healthcare, meaning um, sales and sometimes high-pressure sales uh, is just the MO at some of these companies. Now, it. It's, uh, it's unfair for me to say that um, because there are salesy kind of people in a lot of organizations, but in talking to our customers, I do see a trend that people are quoted higher than average prices at these kind of chain stores, um, and the stories of high pressure sales tactics and that kind of stuff are more common at these types of stores. Uh, and it just so happens that chain stores are also commonly private labeling their hearing aids, so you have that issue too. The bottom line is know what you're buying so you can compare prices, work with locally owned hearing aid offices, and don't buy private labeled hearing aids. You do those three things and you have a much better chance of paying a fair price for hearing aids. That's all for this video, but if you learned something from it, you'll wanna check out this one where I talk about five tips on how to save money on hearing aids. All right, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you on the next one.